Hello and welcome back to Family Quest. Last time we were here, we were over in this part of uh, the world helping Barbarian John dig out his uh, nether portal. And so I arrive over here today and this is what I find. I cannot even fathom the amount of dark prismarine here. And he said he had to pause, not uh, because he didn't have any more dark prismarine, not because it was uh, he was out of black dye, but because he was out of prismarine shards. And this is a guy who has a uh, guardian farm so he should be swimming in prismarine shards take advantage of this quartz right here can't have too much quartz plus helps recharge your gear okay so I There continue to be an incredible number of ghasts around here, as you can hear. Where is this one? Oh, there you are. Let's see if I can bat back the uh, fireball like I did with the other one. Come on. Come on, you big marshmallow. He was so afraid of me, he despawned. Okay. So this is a dangerous place to be walking around in. So I'm not sure what else he's going to do. Well, I have an idea of one thing he's going to do, but I'll wait to show that off. Well, that was dangerous. Uh, but of course he's going to finish this. Uh, Prismarine Circle, and he's still got a lot of them. And there's an Enderman sneaking around. Yeah, you. Come over here. Come over here and fight me. I think he's too far away. might be fun. Let's see. We got a bunch of guardians here, golems. Why are you guys even here? You're stuck in, in the pools? Three of you? Let's see. Nice shot. I was going to shoot at the end of it. That scared him. Did he just leave? I guess he just left. Okay. Let's. I'm not trying to push you off. I just want to go through the portal. Okay. So. I bet John is uh, in here AFK um, collecting shards. Yep, there he is. Up in his AFK spot right there. On uh, this server, if you're not doing something, you'll get kicked off. But if you just flick uh, a little lever that doesn't actually do anything, then you can stay on. And that, of course, activates his <laughs> spider spawner up here. Drop some, uh, some string. And it also is uh, operating his 
Mellon Farm, which Mellon and Pumpkin Farm, which now goes into here to produce uh, bone meal. I'm not too sure about that. Seems like a waste somehow. Bone meal is so easy to get nowadays, but this is certainly bringing out a lot of string. And here is, uh, he is, should be collecting lots of prismarine shards. So, yep, he's got bunches of them. As high as I can reach. And prismarine crystals as well. While I'm here, I can take some sea lanterns. I'll just take the sea lanterns. I would have brought back his uh, shelter boxes. And these are all of his wither roses from his wither rose farm that he's using for black dye. So, quite an operation. Oh, he's got a jump boost trap. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm not going to harm the villagers. Okay. Well, those... There you go. Nice. Okay. Did that golem get killed down there? He did. He must have killed a bunch of uh, pigmen. The problem with doing that is if you're in the vicinity when the golem kills a pigmen, they will aggro on you and you don't want that. Okay, well... That's all I'm going to do for around here for now. So let's fly out of here. Okay, there's that. Oh, careful. And everything's rendered in. Ah, here we go. Here is the path to the Old West area. Let's see if it's still dark. It is dark out. There's like too many mobs. I wonder if there's a bed nearby. Uh, we've got a bed. Now this is a nice uh, place I haven't been in. Library. I wonder what it's supposed to be. 
Uh, nice use of uh, looms, so look like empty bookcases. Somebody's got some uh, leather work going over there. Other than that, not too much has changed around here since the last time I was here. Oh, look at the sign. That is cool. Uh, let's see, are these universal? Uh, it's the universal lettering that, that say out of the enchanting table. Hmm. Very nice. Our internet has gotten a little funky, our internet at home, so things are not rendering in the distance very well today. All right, well, that was a good look around at a couple of places that uh, John and Daydream are working on. So let's see what other kind of mischief we can get into. Okay, I'm back in my base in Alboria, and I decided I'm going to go ahead and uh, work on getting the new additions to the sorting system completed. Now, the first thing I've got to do is produce a bunch of fill material. That is material that is not a normal Minecraft item, so that you can use it to block the hoppers and let Minecraft, excuse me, Minecraft items go through. Um, you could use anything at all. You just have to rename it. And I'm reusing. I'm using cobblestone because I've got a ton of it, and I'm renaming it Phil. Okay, here we are down in the new uh, nether portion of the sorting area, and I've just got to fill up the item hoppers with this fill material, this renamed cobblestone. Now, once I'm ready and I know what's going to go in that system, I'll take the leftmost item out and I'll replace it with a stack of whatever it is I want to go into that, that, that part of the storage system, into that hopper, where I want to pass through that hopper. And that will allow only that item to go through. And in the meantime, all of these are blocked and so items will just pass through and go right on to the rest of the system. Okay, now that that's done, I just need to connect to this to the rest of the storage system. So I've got all the hoppers up here in place, and uh, this is the old system, so I just need to connect it up to this new system. So the return is right behind this block right there. I just need to connect that up with two hoppers. I can take these hoppers out of here. Okay, and here's where the new things are going into. They're going to go in this direction instead and make the detour through there. And then they'll come out here and connect this way. Looks good. Okay, so. Let me just throw these items in, which all uh, have storage containers down hill, so to speak, down the hopper chain. And I'll just wait and watch them come through here. How long that's going to take. I should have looked and seen how many of each stack there was, or how many things were in each stack. Because they move one item at a time. Still not through yet. Okay, let me run over here and take a look. Uh, yep, they're moving through. Okay. That was the last of those going through there, and there they're going through. Okay, excellent. Now on down to the other part of the storage system here, the larger expansion area. 
and I can see I've got a lot of hoppers that need to be placed before I can actually connect this up. And I have a lot of redstone to place too, because none of the redstone is none of the redstone circuitry is in place. And it is over here or over there. It doesn't look like it is in the far one either. So we've got a lot of redstone circuits to place. Okay, now that we've got our redstone, we just need to start following the same pattern that was on here already. That is two pieces of redstone circuitry or redstone wire, as some people prefer to call it here and then one down in the little trench to the right. And you can celebrate with rockets, but it's really a waste of rockets. That was totally an accident. I need to move them out of my offhand while I'm down here. So then this goes down here and you can see it connects up with the other two circuits that are above. Okay. Need to get more redstone and finish this up on the this one as well as the other three rows. Okay, that's all the redstone in place. Now we need to put some uh, comparators up. One comparator in each row, and that's going to be about I don't know 140 of them or so. I found some in a chest. I've got uh, 45 here. That means I've got enough to start, but I'm going to have to, uh, oh, there's 28 there. I'm going to have to eventually make some more. How happy am I, how happy am I that villagers don't pick up redstone components or any other blocks for that matter? I'm very happy. So just going to go down and place one comparator in each of these spots. This will connect up to the redstone circuitry and it is they're going to be reading a hopper that's directly in front of them that is in my direction uh, and the hoppers of course haven't been placed yet. And those are the very hoppers that I was putting the filler in in the other section. So this is a old redstone sorting system design. It's been around forever. I don't know who originally invented it, but I learned how to do it from watching Pixel Rift's video. Uh, so I will connect to his video down in the comments below. Okay, we're getting some stone here to make some more comparators because we ran out. Comparators require stone and quartz and three redstone torches. And of course, to make the torch, you need redstone and sticks. Fortunately, we've got plenty of everything. The only thing we don't have like a super abundant amount of is quartz, but we've got enough for what we need. And we could always go and trade with some of our villagers or go back into the nether and dig for more. Quartz not only gives you the components you need for the redstone, but it also is a great way to get experience to recharge your mending tools. Okay, we've got all the comparators in place and the last thing we need is hoppers and we're going to need a butt ton of them because we need uh, two rows, the sorter row and the carry row that goes above them, uh, which means we're going to need uh, well over 200 hoppers. But we've got an iron farm, so we've got plenty of iron to craft them and we have made plenty of chests, so I don't even need to build anymore. And here we just run down 
Uh, we'll put in the uh, sorting hoppers first. They're pretty easy. The whole thing is really easy. These are going to go right into the comparator so that they're pointing toward that comparator with their outputs. And you just go right along and pop them into place. Easy as pie. 3.1417. As you can see, we haven't gotten quite all the hoppers in yet. Got one still in my hand here. But that's all the time that we have for today. So thanks for visiting and following along in Family Quest. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please press that like button. Think about subscribing. And as always, keep on Minecrafting.